There we go. Psych. No, no, no. No starting soon screen. I don't want that. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Hello? Hi, Chan. Sorry it's late. Well, it's late. It's kind of late. It's relatively late. Hi. Wow, well, no One intro year, today. Let's go poggers. I know, right? I know. Yuki, thank you for the year, the year resub. Lex, thank you for the 11 months. Hi, MS Dish. Thank you so much. Hi. Hey. It's probably gonna be a lot of resubs because I just haven't streamed for the last uh, couple days. Is the quality of stream good? So <laughs> the main difference you're noticing is that this is now in 60 FPS where it has been in 30 for most of my streaming career. Um, primarily because it is much less taxing on my ba on my camera battery. But my camera's like kind of tweaking the last couple of days, so putting it in 60 FPS has helped. But yeah, that's why. 6K, 6, 60 FPS dish. Hi guys. Sorry I disappeared. Um, I'm sure you weren't like dying or waiting or anything, but I got I got a little head cold. <clears throat> Disobey, thank you for the three months. Thanks, Nala. That's good. I'm sure it's good. Good enough for some time zones. Thank you for the 17 months. Are we ro rolling for Light Cone or Eidolon? No. No, I, your girl is free to play. Your girl's free to play and I don't actually, I'm not super diligent, so I don't have that many wishes. I think I have like 60 or something, so I don't even actually have enough to 100% get her today, but I'm gonna just do my best and hope for it. Yeah, I got I got a little head cold, um, but I'm cool. I'm good now. I was just I don't know, just sneezing and coughing and tired and stuff. So <sighs> I just did like book book book. Yeah, we're getting sparkle today. We are getting sparkle today. Don't listen to anybody except me. I, I haven't seen her trailer, I haven't seen her demo, I haven't seen the melodrama, so I'm gonna watch all of it. Thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, Ella. I will get her, okay? I just really believe that I will. And I do tend to, I have been kind of lucky in HSR. More lucky offline, so Loki, I should just wish for her offline and... <laughs> I should wish for her offline, but I, we'll see. <coughs> She's too broken for Jingyue. Oh yeah, this is, um, I got this at box lunch like a year ago or so. It's so cute, right? Ponyo. Ponyo. It's seriously on par with Kafka's trailer. Well, we're gonna have to watch it first. Wow, 28 years. I can't believe I've been subbed to you for your whole life. Well, I can. Thank you, Card, for the 28 months. Good luck, Connor Pulls Miss Dish Hopper. Doing well also. Thank you. I'm doing better now. <coughs> Although, I probably will still cough a bit, so I'm sorry in advance. Um, Joshua is also sick. He got it a little worse than I did. So he's he feels fine, but he's coughing a lot. Poor guy. The cat, could you put it on camera? Um... Depends on which one it was. They kind of just, they meander through here over the, over time, so. Is Ponyo your favorite Ghibli movie? Mine's Howl's. Um, I love Ponyo. I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. <laughs> it's like each, each of them fill like a different slot for me. 
Kiki's delivery service is my Bonjour, MS dish. coming Bonjour, of age. Chat. Hope you get the crazy cutie Ghibli quantum movie. girly and get well soon. Less thank than three. Thank you, thank you, Savelle. Um, thank you for the resub. Yeah, Ponyo's like my childhood is beautiful, and uh, same with Spirited Away. Just and and House Me Castle is like romance is is real, love is real, true love is real. Box. So I don't know if I can pick. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Freaking! What's the one with the planes? What? No. Actually, probably all of them have planes. Jiro and Whisper the Heart I haven't seen. The Wind Rises. The Wind Rises. That's one. That's the one. That Long one time gets no me, man. MS dish. Hope you get well soon. I did watch The Boy and the Heron. I feel like I need to watch it a couple more times before I'm able to really, Be really sure assess it fully, but year old stream channel in short, to get I liked fed it. Content the old -fashioned way. Hey! Angel 97 year old stream channel. Yes. What? Yes. Listen, hold on. No, I'm only I'm only 44. I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> what up, Princess Mononoke? Oh, I love I actually don't think I have a favorite. I can't. I can't pick one. She doesn't know. What don't I know? What don't I know? Am I out of the loop? Oh, also, I posted a YouTube video today called What Gaming's Story Taught Me About Familial Conflict. And it's like a really casual talking to the camera type video. Um, and I'm very proud of it. And I think you should watch it. Yeah, it's like it's like not quite a video essay. It's much more like lazy chatty than, the, than that. But I'm really happy with it. And I want to do more stuff like that on my channel. So. Oh, that's wrong. We're way past Silver Flames. Book. Dish is currently reading. What is Dish currently reading? Anne of Avonlea and Way of Kings. There we go. Are we continuing the main HSR quest today? I finished. I finished the Trailblaze quest. By that, do you mean, um, like the, 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 the what do you mean, actually? <laughs> no, we're gonna watch the Sparkle trailer. All the Sparkle stuff. After I gift Fluffy Slipper Vibes a sub. Yay! Thanks for saving up all these points. Do you have Goodreads? I do technically have Goodreads, but I don't update it very much. I'm more, I'm more to story graph, but I do have a story graph. Dish gifted account. a tier one sub to Fuzzy Slipper Vibes. You got her in 13 pulls? Okay, now my turn, right? My turn, right? My turn, right? My turn, right? Let's watch the Let's watch the okay. We got trailer. Says, trailer. Hi, dish. I hope your pulls go well. If you ever need a documentary like first. video I essay on Miyazaki, there's an amazing one on the YouTube channel Quality Culture. You oh. will probably love. People love. I mean, I always would need something like that. So, I perhaps I will, Mia. Thank you. For, thank you for your text to speech, Cal. Thank you for the twenty-three months. Star glazing for the two months. Penguin for the six months. Jewels for the hundred bits. Okay. Did you take a week off in the title? What did I say? Oh, yeah. Off. O F F off.
<laughs> it doesn't matter who I am off stage. I won't watch any All of this the stuff. audience needs to know. Yes, that when I'm on stage, I'm just Sparkle. It's you, my beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. When I'm angry, you're still smiling. When I'm sad, you keep on smiling. You're like a veil that I can hide under. The one wearing the veil, that sparkle. Beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. When I'm angry, you're screaming too. When I'm sad, you're crying too. You're like a mirror showing my reflection. The one in the mirror that sparkle. was just a play I wanted to leave the stage because off stage there's an even bigger stage what do you say <laughs> who's the real sparkle I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I see I see, I see, I see. I see. Pipo said swipe, Pipo said swipe, no. kind of night. No, Mojo. Compadres. That would never happen. Ring for our mistress. That would never happen, Ding dong, Anisar. ding dong, dieting run. You won't fix her. Honestly, good. Maybe she doesn't want to be fixed. It's never too late to run the other direction. Honestly, after watching that, I'm more interested in her story quest than I am interested in is a playable character because who is sparkle kind of reminds me of the joker making up you know he, he's he's known to make up all sorts of like fake backstories for like how he became the way he is so no one like there's no actual canon backstory for the joker at least in the comics <laughs> uh, because he's just he's just like an, an enigma that cannot be figured out so, very much Joker vibes from this one. Okay. Monodrama. Have you ever met anyone who isn't a huge hassle? If you help me mess everything up, then I will allow you to be mine. Okay. Okay, Instrument of Chaos. Love that. <clears throat> Ooh, crisp. Mm. Like I do. 
true. <laughs> Do you get it now? What is elation? Me. I am elation. <laughs> Whoa. So on the chicken. <laughs> Were you scared just now? Wait, no, 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 don't do that. Wow, she's like that's so like indie horror game core. Like, like that? That's like so headspace. Wait! It's Mari. It's something. Something. It's something. Welcome to the black space. Welcome to the red space. <laughs> Was that a door I just saw? Oh, a window. Man, she's so interesting. Cult of the Lambs, or Cult of the Lamb. There's a video it's based on, but it has quite dark imagery. Really? I am elation for the laughter. <sighs> the laughter, the joy seeker. She's more unhinged in Chinese. Well, in that case. <clears throat> This one? She's so interesting. She's so interesting. One more time on that, on that laughter. Man. JP is better? Bruh. What if they're all good? It's, this is so interesting. Because it's almost like, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily like all in waiting for Sparkle, but <laughs> I just, I can't, how do you watch something like this and not like there's it, obviously HSR, like they, <laughs> to put like this much intrigue into a character, like how do you not want a character after that point? JP and Korea don't gag. Sorry to them. Uh, well, 
and it's because you say that. Now I have to. I'll just listen to the laugh, okay? I'll just listen to the laugh. La, 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 la. It's such an interesting vibe. Not quite getting the manic energy. Not quite as manic as I want it to be. Where's the Chrissy? Where's the Chrissy? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I can't even argue that. <laughs> oh wow, CN kind of gags all of them. <laughs> in a, a series of excellent voice actors, CN kind of gags. But, but, but... Are we surprised? Are we surprised? Hi, Fe, I fine. Hi. CN and Ian, and Ian are close. Yeah. I mean, just purely, just purely based on the laugh, okay? Just purely based on the laugh. Man, she's like, she's, there's so much intrigue. What is it with Hoyoverse and their, like, borderline manic characters? Like, I feel like Child is the favorite of Kenshin. <laughs> and Sparkle, she got three videos all dedicated to herself. What a, tra what a trailer. What a trailer. Okay, what's this one? Because this is the third one that got, what even is Child anymore? I don't know. The world's just like a big non-stop circus. Oh. Showcasing beasts rolling all day and night. Bears on unicycles. Lions leaping through fire hoops. Monkeys juggling bulls. Ooh. Me, I'm happy being a side character in the background. Cheering on those who have the limelight. Then at the climax of the performance, bang! Sparkling like fireworks into brilliant colors. You think the leading character would dare do this? <laughs> she said, do you think the leading character would dare do this? You think the leading character would dare do this? I don't know, Miss Sparkle. I don't know, Miss Sparkle. Whatever you say, honestly, at this point. Whatever you say. Where's... Since it's only like 55 seconds. Genshin Live. Oh, is that tonight? That's tonight, isn't it? No, I will not. I will not be watching that um, at peak time. I will be watching it after I've had a good night's sleep during the daytime. <laughs> I also forgot. <laughs> oh, that's tonight. I can't wait for the sparkle cosplays. Oh, that's tonight. <laughs> I 
I mean, what what can anybody say? HSR is just so they're just not messing around. I love her trailer. It's giving they're not messing around. Echo from Kakegurui. Is Sparkle a bad guy? Truthfully, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Push car. Thank you for the for prime. Oh, Violet, I just remembered that you sent a message and it got done a world. Meowdy. Hope your day was good and you drank plenty of water. Miss Dish, I just want to say how much I love the Lantern video. It's wonderful to hear your thoughts. Now that you've had time to collect them, I'll thank you for being understanding. Pressure and empathy to your chest. Different experiences. Of course. Of course. Sorry for the essay. No, you don't need to apologize for the essay. I'm the one who yapped for 30 minutes on YouTube today, so. I mean, I, this is interesting because Child is absolutely one of the most interesting characters to me, but I didn't have a desire to pull for him. However, I do have a desire for, to pull for Sparkle. Probably doesn't hurt that she's Sparkle like, Sparkle got me to a moment of oh, weakness and almost ruined my Akron guarantee aware. All right, Akron. I feel like this is a good place to wish. Feels kind of deranged and creepy in here. Agreed. I miss child. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't have the desire to pull for child, and I still don't. But probably combined with the fact that Sparkles... <gasps> I don't even have 50 wishes. <laughs> Just kidding, I have 50 wishes. Combined with the fact that Sparkle is interesting, and she's a crack support. Don't worry, I'm gonna get her, okay? Look. Look. Oh, Hanya. Oh, I don't have Hanya. Look, guys, I literally have a guarantee. See? It's not a problem. And Jingyan is back. Another. <laughs> ah. Sorry, Locha Wanters. Surely he'll be in the next patch. Next pull, Sparkle, don't worry. Just put, just like close your eyes and pretend you're not here because I get the luckiest. I get the luckiest offline. Don't worry, guys. It's fine. Oh, perfect. A character I haven't built, but maybe we'll build someday. It's fine. We just have to get through the wishing part. Hanya! Yay! Dear diary. She looks so thick. I got her in King <laughs> Yuan and by Louis one, Sampo in five, and Han Yui two in 130 Hanya! wishes. So I bless you, Ms. Dish, with the luck you need and all those who want our deranged little buddy. Question Is she new? Is she new? Or have I just failed to pull her until just now? No, she's not new. Man, I she's evaded me until this moment, I just realized. I kind of forgot she was in the game. <laughs> I just I just have never pulled her. Right? Yeah, new. No, new. No. Okay, anyways. It's fine. Sparkle. See? 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 What were you worried about? What were you worried about? I told you. My account is blessed. Yes, yes, you will be my little pet. You're nothing, she's nothing like me. I think that's also what makes it so interesting. What makes her so interesting is that she's nothing like me. <laughs> oh, great. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> oh, my first one. <laughs> See, my account is blessed. <laughs> what? I actually didn't realize I didn't have him. <laughs> I have another guaranteed. I have a guarantee for uh, for for Akron. That's insane. 
Whittle Whittly, I told you not to worry about it. Dear diary. <laughs> One year subscriber, Leafeon, to 2500, your, your local sleep press, imagine a double my impact. <laughs> so early. <sighs> well, anyways. Now that the the boring part is over, you guys. let's. I am magical and her. I share my luck to you all. Yes, you are magical. Where is she? Allegedly. Shouldn't the fool introduce himself to everyone? The most crack support. Oh wait, did you see? Wait, wait, did you see how the camera shifted down when I when I went to her because she's so small? <laughs> She's so tiny! She's just a little baby! Big. <laughs> Big man. Tall man. Big man. She makes me very sparkle. So cute. One apple. She's like five apples tall. Watch this. Misdirect. Okay, now this is the part where I tell you I have no idea. Uh, how she works, and that I will have to promptly go to YouTube and watch a guide. Let's push the envelope further, shall we? But who's surprised, really? Actually, I'm starting to do this on purpose because it is clear sometimes that people, some people in my chat, think that I know what I'm what I'm doing, and I just need you guys to know that I that I don't know that I don't know what I'm doing, and I truthfully never have. I'm literally just a bystander. Whoa. Two. Meow. Meow. Mow. Well, again. Sporkle. <gasps> oh. Oh, what's that weapon? I never seen it before. Harmony. After entering battle, all allies deal the same damage type. If an ally, ally, ally deals the same damage type as a wearer, damage dealt is increased by 12. Oh. That's interesting. That sounds very useful. What do you mean you're not a guide maker? <sighs> I know. I'm fake. I'm fake. Alright, Sparkle. Thank you so much for joining my team. I am actually going to have to let you sit there for a moment and look at your phone. While I go to YouTube. <laughs> Sparkle build guide. Who's gonna pop up first? It's Brax. We're gonna watch Brax. And it's only f oh, it's only 15 minutes? I don't know if you grew up around theater kids at all, but I did, unfortunately. But I can say with 100% honesty that 69% of them are absolutely insane, and 82.6% of facts you hear on the internet are completely made up. With Sparkle being the premier theater kid, you now have a perfect example of what a red flag looks like. And no, you can't fix her, like your financial security. This character is chill, so chill. <laughs> the door, she would fall over. And easily the worst thing about her is that she had to smell like Sampo for a minute. And now she's decided to live in Bronya's skin, <laughs> except she does her job a little bit better, at least for most characters. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play and build Sparkle, and if you enjoy these videos, make sure to let YouTube know the video doesn't suck by leaving a like down below. Subscribe if you feel like it, and with all that being said, my name is Braxphone, and let's talk about Sparkle. I wasn't subscribed. <laughs> what an intro. In every gacha game, at some point, you're going to get characters that intro. outperform the initial cast of five stars. Mm -hmm. It took almost a year for Branya to become second best, but it's finally happened. That's the power of a truly insane anime girl. While Branya has a 100% action forward on her skill with a huge damage bonus for a turn, Sparkle has a skill that gives you 50% action forward with a massive crit damage boost for a turn. This oh, wow. crit bonus is huge and it's higher than Branya's ultimate. And even though <laughs> it's not a full 100% advance forward, 50% is still really significant. Significant, and you she can works with that, huh? Pretty dang far in the action sequence. At first glance, Sparkle does just look straight up worse than Bronya because of the action forward thing, but she does a few things better than Bronya. The first is that she gives more overall stat bonuses. The second is that she keeps them up longer, and the third thing is that she enables attack boots on literally almost every character in the game. With one attack of her boots, traces, she extends oh, her crit damage buff right. until the start of the character's following turn. Oh, thank God. We don't need spood speed spood boot. <laughs> Hello? 
Speed boots? Sorry, I haven't streamed in a week. Spoon beats? On everybody anymore? <laughs> Spoon boots. <laughs> I see, I see. That's great. <laughs> I'm a little rusty, okay? Meaning that characters that have I'm a bit rusty from their turn like Jing <laughs> also can keep the buff. Lenny is eating real good. I don't know what else to say about it. But that's not all I was talking about. Because the single best gimmick that Sparkle has is the juice. By nature of this character joining your team, she can actually allow you to hold two extra skill points, which allows you to stock up the what? seven time. Which would be weird if she was just an I am or says who else using spoop beats on their damn hang. Spoop boots. Spoop beats. <laughs> Wait, two extra skill points? What this character is such a power creep? Are you kidding? Every other support, she, they're they're canceled. They're over. Us, she's clinically insane. When she uses her ultimate, she recovers four skill points for the team. And for those of you who don't know, that makes her go plus one skill points over three turns, which basically makes her Branya but skill point positive without having the wow. basic attack at all. Which honestly is a little bit of a bummer because this is the best basic attack of the entire game. <laughs> Even if you do have to basic attack due to SP mismanagement, or in effect. other words, skill issue, you'll still get the full 30 energy you would normally get from her skill because one of her major traces gives 10 more energy per basic attack. Also, her ultimate gives your team a damage bonus called Cypher for two turns, which seems small until you factor in her talent, which also gives a damage bonus for skill points spent between Sparkle's turns. Every no skill way. point you spend gives damage bonus up to three stacks and refreshes the turns left on the buff. So it's basically always maxed out unless you just spam basic attacks for a minute. This is actually one of the biggest things that separates Branya and Sparkle. Since Sparkle can actually gain one skill point over three turns, whereas Branya needs her signature light cone and Eidolons just to break even. And even then, it's only a chance to actually break even. Having a character that has true action forward every turn is absolutely insane. Okay, so why is she so good? The juice. But do you know about the sauce? Sparkle's skill uptime is every single turn. Her talent is basically full uptime as far as the damage bonus goes, and her ultimate lasts for two turns. But what if I told you that her ultimate could actually last for three turns instead of two? If you wait until after your DPS's turn has come up, and then use Sparkle's ultimate, your DPS's first turn of Cypher buff won't actually count down meaning you can always have the damage buff up in a three turn sparkle rotation that's it wait i'm sorry my brain is not pock enough to to understand that upon first listening one more time on it lasts for three turns instead of two if you wait until after if you wait until your after DPS's turn has come up and then use sparkles ultimate your dps's first turn of cypher buff won't won't disappear. To actually count down, meaning you can always have the damage buff up in a three turn sparkle rotation. That's it. That's. So. 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 <coughs> Skill every turn. Talent full uptime. Damage. Ultimate lasts up to two turns. So. So. You use your DPS. And then you use her ult. And then... Uptime on buff. No. Always available. Sparkle ult on DPS turn. Yes. Ult than DPS. No, listen to what he just said. Bonus goes, and her ultimate lasts for two turns. But what if I told you that her ultimate could actually last for three turns? Her ultimate can last for three turns. So that's what, that's the, that's the benefit instead of two if you wait until after your dps's turn has come up and then you use sparkles ult. oh oh okay so, yeah so you use sparkles ult on the dps's turn and then you get max okay i get it now your dps's first turn of cypher buff won't actually okay okay down, okay you can always have the damage buff up in a three turn computed rotation. computed that's it that's all, that, that's everything. Sparkle's Thanks. kit is incredibly stable, unlike both her mental health and the people who play her. What do I mean by that? <laughs> well, on top of everything I've said already, her last trace gives her party 15% attack bonus for free. And if you add quantum characters to your team, you get an extra bonus to that attack. So the mono quantum dream is no longer a dream. It's very real and mono you should quantum. fear your next paycheck. Overall, 50% action forward is very strong. And you'll see in the footage that a lot of the time it even pulls my character up next anyways. With all of these buffs and them having such crazy uptime, all you have to do is make sure that 
your sparkle has a solid build and she can be crazier than your ex. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Star Wars post update. For her talent priority, go ahead and focus on her skill, her ultimate, her talent, and then her basic. <laughs> skill or talent. Why is she being so mean to us? <laughs> so, so, so mean. Make fun of us. <laughs> Okay, Sparkle. Sparkle is basically- I like the little, I like the the interlude to give your brain a moment to, uh, I think he's allowed to be a little mean at his limits. Sparkle is basically Bronya if I wanted Bronya to break my heart. Having similar kits means similar builds and principles, with the only difference being that Sparkle doesn't actually need specific speed tuning most of the time. Her best set at the moment is Four Piece Messenger for personal speed and a speed buff to your team. Okay. If you don't have four pieces though, you can also go with two pieces of the speed set and any other I might have some of those. defensive stats like HP, defense, and damage reduction. For planar sets, for basically all of the content in the game, going with Broken Kill is going to be amazing for the team crit damage and effect res on Sparkle. With a Quantum DPS, you can go with Pentacle for damage bonus since it doesn't really require any specific stats or height or anything. Other sets that work are Sprightly Vonwalk and Fleet of the Ageless. For main stats, you're going to want a crit damage body, speed boots, any orb, and an energy regen rope. Any the more orb? damage you have, the more she buffs your team, so that's an absolute must. Speed boots are also a must have because uh -huh. the more sparkle goes, the more you can pull up your DPS. There's yeah. no downside at all to having a fast sparkle. The orb main stat doesn't really matter. I'd recommend going for a defensive piece like HP or defense, but you mostly just want to prioritize speed, crit damage, and effect res substats. And for the rope, with energy regen, you can get your ultimate every three turns. Now, on the topic of speed, she doesn't want to be speed tuned to your DPS. But with that said, she does want to have a very high speed stat. What Sparkle is effectively doing is forcing your DPS forward in the action order, and the faster Sparkle is, the more she advances you forward. Your Sparkle's speed replaces your DPS character's need for speed. You can run attack percent boots on almost every DPS That's so to gain cool. overall damage if Sparkle is on the team, since she can make them act sooner. So what I personally recommend, and what I've tested, is going for 160 speed on Sparkle, focusing most of your effort on speed and crit damage substats. Mm -hmm. With proper investment, 160 is achievable for free-to-play players, especially if you go with a mixed 2 and 2 setup. If you don't believe me, go to my stream. I saw like a 180 Bronya the other day. My friend who did theory crafting for this told me to put this on screen, so here it is if you want it, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm doing a Zilla cosplay right now. And just in case you kind of dissociated during all that yapping, me too, here's a build summary. Focus on speed and crit damage. With wow. some and I did actually. Press, so that way she doesn't get topped by Kafka. This is a really well done guide. I've, I haven't watched. I usually default to Sevi. Or, uh. So let's keep it real. It feels a like the special program. <laughs> With the pauses. Busted, but I'm sure a ton of you guys just pulled for her because of her story appearance, or maybe her twin tails. If you pulled her for twin tails, then you're the most valid of the three. Luckily for you, though, she's actually very free to play friendly. Chaotic Evil Hu Tao can use a ton of different light cones, ranging from Code medium breaks. to premium, just like her. Obviously, they're going to make her signature the best for her. It gives a ton of crit damage, medium to premium. Sorry, what was that? Actually, very free to play friendly. Chaotic Evil Hu Tao can use a ton of different light cones, ranging from medium to premium, just like her. Obviously, the. Maybe I'm stupid. I'm gonna make I don't understand. The best for her. It gives a ton of crit damage, and it also gives allies crit rate and crit damage buffs. The next best thing, though, Ow. is either Bronya's signature light cone or. Next best Wait. thing. Obviously, they're gonna make her signature. Okay. Next best thing is Bronya's. And. Okay, I think I just got the Bronya's like weapon. Or past and future, under Best the you don't know. Medium to premium? Should I look that up? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> With Bronya's light cone, you can even get an extra skill point back one to two times per battle. Planetary Rendezvous is an amazing light cone in mono quantum teams, and I even recommend it mono above quantum. everything oh, else one I just got. signature for that team specifically. But even in just a I don't quantum, have a quantum DPS, DPS setup, it's pretty solid. Built. Snap the neck, weave the clouds, and dance, dance, dance are fantastic options. And lastly, the Dreamville Adventures light cone is your second free to play option, which is the worst of the two. <laughs> I would definitely craft Past and Future over that one. Funny enough, Meshing Cogs, which is usually one of the top choices for every harmony is basically useless here since you're trying to only ever use her skill i'd recommend past and future if you don't have any premium options just because it is craftable there's not really damage rankings for these since it depends on the team but here's what i recommend
Sparkle is insanely valuable. The brakes are killing me. <laughs> Many units can be replaced with Sparkle as a strict upgrade, and that's not an exaggeration. I've never seen she that in cut video powerful. before. So what does she bring to the table? Racism. The first thing that I want to talk about with Sparkle you is say racism. To be the Premier Mono Quantum team. Finally, guys, we have achieved 100% of Zilla's latent potential. Although Sparkle doesn't Yay. really fit in with the color scheme. I'll play this for those who want it. Anyways, of course, this team is going to be pretty good. You have Zilla, who is going to be one of the best Quantum DPS. Silverwolf for the single target quantum application and a ton of debuffs on the enemy. Sparkle to buff your Zilla and give you unlimited skill points. So that way you can use Silverwolf and Zilla together. And Fushron, who's <laughs> going to help you mitigate a bunch of damage, give a bunch of crit rate to everyone. And overall, this team actually functions incredibly well. Now, Great. I don't have any of those characters, so. <laughs> and, and pick her. What, what, however you say her name. This is one of the only teams that has a bunch of RNG in it that you can literally just mitigate by playing four quantum characters. By playing Sparkle in this team, you're actually getting a ton of extra skill points, which this gambling gremlin girl can actually use to maximize her damage. On top of that, like I said, the extra skill points help with Silver Wolf a lot because whenever you run into an enemy that you have to apply quantum to, she can do that. With the use of one skill, so you're not going to have to deal with the RNG of multiple. I'm waiting for the Dunhunk elements. team. So yeah, Mono Quantum Ow. is finally here. Ow. It's a pretty solid team. I'm not going to call it the best team, but it definitely is a very easy one to get through most of the game with. But one of the ones that everyone has been asking me about over at twitch.tv slash Braxbone, make sure to go follow if you want to see lots of Hawkeye Star Rail content on live, is Don Hung. Because yeah. he obviously eats a shit ton of skill points. Yeah, well, he does. Sparkle does make his job a little bit easier. He can dish out a lot more enhanced basic attacks due to yeah. giving extra skill points on occasion. We've already figured out ways to circumvent I can do that skill team. point needs because we already have teams where we run our supports very, very fast. For example, a fast Ting Yun and a fast Locha are only going to benefit Don Hung. And now that we have someone else to add more skill points, he has become essentially the Black Flash more powerful. I highly recommend pairing Sparkle yeah. with Ting Yun in general because Sparkle doesn't have a ton of attack. Oh, Sparkle buffs, and Ting Yun. And while there are a lot of characters that are oversaturated with attack, normally in some places where you would run Branya, you can now run Sparkle, who doesn't actually give as much attack as Branya does. So I can never escape Ting Yun. And also be another SP positive force. And the next team I want to show you guys is probably my favorite gimmick team of all time. Actually, Ooh. it's really funny. This gimmick is called team. Unlimited Blade Works. Yeah, I'm not fucking. Kidding, I don't have Blade. Yeah. Why is it called Unlimited Blade Works? Because you have two people constantly forcing Blade forward. Or Blade is going to be overworked to death by the time we're done oh, with it, but maybe see. that's a good thing. I don't know. Basically, what you do is you build a slow blade with lots of HP, basic grip stats, and you get ready to go pound some enemies. What you're going to want to do is speed tune Sparkle and Branya close together. And realistically, if you want to speed tune these two together to make this strat work, you want to have... I am so sorry. What the heck is speed tune? Does that mean match speed? Does that mean equal speed? Or does it mean, is it like different for each team? <laughs> is, does anybody know? Specific speed. But what does it mean when he says speed tune two characters together? Oh, make them so, the, so they go after each other. Plus, one plus one minus your DPS. Manipulate speed sets so your team goes in a specific order. Oh, okay, okay. I need guide makers to dumb things down. <laughs> See, they probably think they are dumbing it down. Like, they are dumbing it down already. Have you guys, like, slice guides back in the day? They were, like, 40 minutes long. And it was all of the specific number breakdowns. And then he, like simplified it and dumbed it down from there and sometimes i watch them like i still need it to be dumbed down <laughs> One character at 156, one, and then Hanabi one or two speed faster. And effectively, what you're so crit damage, not crit rate, because crit damage you're going to be able to do transfers. is exactly what's shown in this clip where Blade's going to attack. Then you're going to rotate between Sparkle and Branya in order to bring Blade back to the front of the queue to attack again and again and again. And again. <laughs> it's really funny and it's kind of insane how well it works. Like, I genuinely have had That's so, so much funny. fun with this, and I can't wait to see what we can do with more characters. The other reason this works is because Blade is a pretty SP not super negative character. So even though these two are going to be eating a lot of your skill points, as long as you have another support that barely ever uses them, just like Lulcha, who spam basic attack, and you have Sparkle as well, who's able to generate all that extra SP, you'll be fine. I've also found a little bit of success. Hope your pulls went well, Miss Dish they and did. Flower. They did. Thank you. With Thank Jinnu you for the seven months. The blade, but it's a little bit less consistent. The best luck I've had with this is using multiplication on Lulcha to bring his action forward consistently and get him more attacks overall, which which will lead to him getting more skill points. And lastly, I just okay. want to show you some of the DPS that she really excels with. Obviously, okay. I already talked about this 
person on the left. And I actually <laughs> just talked about Jingli too, which was not in the original plan, so I kind of went off script with that one. But I do want to talk about oh, Jingyuan. Yeah. And one thing about Please. Sparkle and Jingyuan is that it actually works a little bit differently from Bronya and Jingyuan. And we'll cross the music. Jingyuan, because if you use Bronya, you're not going to actually be able to get her buff on your Lightning Lord. But with Sparkle, she has a trace that helps you fix exactly that. Her trace makes it so that her skill crit damage bonus that she gives lasts until the start of the target's next turn, as opposed to going away at the end of their turn. This means that for Jingyuan and any character that has some trace that helps you fix exactly that. Her trace makes it so that her skill crit damage bonus that she gives lasts until the start of the target's next turn, as opposed to going away at the end of their turn. This means that for Jingyuan and any character that has some sort of follow-up mechanic where they would lose their buff with Branya will not actually lose it unless they move again before the mechanic actually happens. The Lightning Lord can receive the buffs from Sparkle. This makes Sparkle and Jingyuan a really solid combo, and if you're not playing Pure Fiction where you're just running a ton of DPS, Sparkle and Jingyuan can really excel. The only places I would be hesitant to play Sparkle in would be Dot Teams. Dot Teams have been shown to be better with just multiple DPS or running a character that can buff multiple DPS at the same time, like Asta or Ruan Mei. Sparkle and Tingyun and Sparkle and Pela are some of my favorite combos, and on occasion, if you get really lucky and there's a skill point positive or just not very negative DPS, you'll be able to use Sparkle and Branya together with them, and that'll be fantastic. Overall, I'm super happy with how this character works in a bunch of different teams. Yeah, She's no super kidding. flexible and one of the best characters they have ever released. This weird merger of Hutao and Yoimiya on the chaotic evil side of things really is going to be a game changer, especially if you were someone that never had Branya to begin with and never got lucky enough to actually get her. Anyways, let me tell you why you shouldn't spend money. But after this commercial break, because Acheron is coming out pretty soon, you probably don't plan on pulling for Sparkle Eidolons. And that's okay, me too. But I'm uh, contractually obligated to go over them, so here they are. Sparkle's E1 is an ultimate extension. Contractually 25 obligated. months, no weighing. Hope you are Eidolons. feeling well rested today, MS Dish. Uh, where's my redemption code? Great guide. Great guide. Really good. Good for my little pea brain. Little pea brain. I'm. I. I have my moments, but man, when it comes to numbers, oh man, I literally just gave this to Ruan May, <laughs> but we're gonna give it to Sparkle for now. Okay, so he said talent, primary skill, but kind of all of them, right? They're all important. Great. Thank you, Braxophone. That was a great guide. Uh, yay, building characters from scratch. Before I do that, actually, let me look at the relics. Um, he said, he said, where's the page at the end? This messenger. Ooh, do I have crit damage? No speed stat, though. Okay, temporary. <clears throat> I have exactly one. <laughs> no problem, buddy. I always wanted What's the lesser? Thank you for the 10. So speed yeah. stat, though. I thought it was skill old trace. Skill and ultimate sure. over talent. Thank you for sharing your oh. thoughts on the recent Lantern Rite quest. Oh. As someone in a similar situation to gaming, it meant a lot for you to show understanding and the willingness to learn about others' experiences. Of course. Thank you. Thank you for the $10 tip. I appreciate it, and I hope... Wow, did I only have... the one? I only had the one. Okay, I haven't. I don't... <laughs> okay, um... So we're gonna have to farm everything today. Which is great, because look at how much of this I have. Reserve Trailblaze power. I'm so prepared. Wait, that's not Brian? Yeah, the voice is different for some reason for the, um... What's it called? The tips? The tip stuff? Mmm, okay. So we need everything. I probably should just farm this today, honestly. Oh, see, this is what I get for being a casual. Because then I log in and I just don't have anything. Someone check on Brian. You can go random four piece. 
Yeah, what was the other stat set he said? Speed, HP, two-piece mix. Speed set and any other two that give defensive stats, like... Uh, I don't even have enough for two-piece set, so... <laughs> um... Oh, wait. Uh, wait. Wait, I wasn't ready. I didn't, I didn't pick the team. Yeah, HSR doesn't allow... HSR does not allow um, offsets, off pieces. It must all be. What an interesting team I have here. Um. I'm gonna assume this isn't that far hard to farm. I'm just gonna let him go at it. We do not play this game like that. No. But I'm... I'm just recently started to, like, really... I'm just now really interested in the story and the universe. So I can't... I gotta... I gotta start playing more. Four-piece wind set is good as well with the dance dance dance, but I, I don't know if you have any pieces. Wind set on... On Sparkle? Who's Joe Alwyn? Joe Alwyn. Who's Joe? <laughs> uh, what are you yapping about? Ponyo, 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 ponyo by the sea. It's a four piece that allows for damage. Ignore? Oh, really? Advances your own action. Oh, I see. Taylor Swift's X. Oh, I don't know. Joe Alwyn. Joe Al. Oh, I've have never seen this person in my life. He's a British boy. I have never seen him. I only know about Dromama. <laughs> Is he an actor? He just looks like a Joel. He's <laughs> he's an indie actor. Oh, okay. She she just put autoplay to check her phone. Yeah, unless it's like Simulated Universe or Forgotten Hall, I kind of can't be bothered to not to 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 do anything other than autoplay. Attack. Ah. Uh, uh, well. Well. You know, I really should farm. <sighs> I really should farm her her basic stuff first before I do all this stuff. But 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 oh, Life's just like a game Eric. Of you never know what's gonna come up next. What is the best way to get her playable right now? You know, because I have here just. Wow, that is quite, what an interesting artifact. Why did I even raise that? I don't know. Increases effect resistance by five. Speed boots, follow-up damage. Oh no, oh no, even my own, my account doesn't know what to do. HP. Oh no. Well. Yeah, okay. So. 
That's great. Maybe I should farm this and be responsible. Whenever I see a beautiful woman, celebs, boyfriend, an angel, and the heaven dies and loses wings. See, I have to disagree with that. Because I think... <laughs> uh, People often forget that the general... How do I say this without I sounding... Can... How do I say this? But I think <laughs> I always hesitate to make generalities, make general statements when I'm on stream. But I think in like long term relationships, women. Like, at least I could maybe speak to my own experience. I don't... Like, the physical... <sighs> like... What's it called? Oh my gosh, maybe autoplay was not a good idea here. Maybe that was some um, silly. Physical appearance matters very little to me, I guess I should say. Oh, thank goodness. That was close. So when I see... When I see... A just drop-dead... Gorgeous... Woman... With... You know, just a guy. Just a guy. Just a, just a guy, you know? I'm like... He probably treats her really well. She probably feels... Understood and loved... For who she is inside for the, like, the first time in her adult life. That's what goes through my head. Surely, surely that man wouldn't cheat on her in the end. Okay, autoplay is a no-go in this- in this one. Surely. How did this start? What is this? Well... It's cause Alora- Alora said something. I can't trust men like that, but we love to hope and dream. Aren't you a man? And even so, if- if so, valid. And I understand. Did you get Sparkle? I did get Sparkle. I did. No Always a little spot. Oh lord, get behind me. Wow, alright. <laughs> Sparkle.com. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> but I could have sworn. I could have sworn. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, he hurt it himself. I've had a few for kerfuffle, kerfuffles with a man in my day, so suddenly I have no credibility. I've had my few kerfuffles? I'm not sure what relevance it has to this conversation. But I like your use of the word kerfuffle. I really do. Me want to have a kerfuffle. Ow! Me when kerfuffle. I'll see you off. There's no time to lose. Anyway. Anyway. I guess I just, I don't come to any snap judgments when I see. <laughs> a disparity between the. 
conventional attractiveness of two of a couple. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, I haven't farmed this. What is that? I don't even know. You kind of clocked me with that, I'll give you that. <laughs> with love, with love. And maybe uh, maybe it's okay for the amount of times you've... Um... Oh, oh, I'm not interested in that right now. Or maybe I am? Nabikor says your lucky pulls inspired me to pull for sparkle and I got two sparkles in one Whoa, temple. congratulations! Oh. Let's go, I'm lucky. I'm a lucky girl. And I give love to my viewer. I'm in a reading slump. Can you recommend something that could help, please? Uh, what kind of books do you like? What kind of books do you like? Two sparkles. I just call anyone girl as a gender neutral term. I mean, I just generally don't. don't. I, I think very little. Obviously, I can't help but make guesses. <laughs> If you're in my chat long enough, I can't help but try to guess. But I, I, I don't speak about it until I'm told. Or, or learn. Girl and bro are gender neutral. I agree with that. You chose the wrong <laughs> I'm literally just a girl. Oh, Scythe. That's a good recommendation. You like fantasy? Um... Oh man. To get you out of a reading slump, I would probably want to suggest something kind of kind of easy. But No, no, no. No. Something kind of like approachable and simple. So I need to think about it a little bit. All the Uh, I don't know. Do you only like fantasy? Because I go by all pronouns, so it's all right. I've read it all things I'm every anything under the sun, so I learned to just embrace it. Good to know. <laughs> Is that right? Am I farming the right thing? Spooko. Memory zone meme. Oh, I see. So it's just navigating me to the next one. Ah, uh, it's all coming together now. Okay. Um. Because I've read a lot of like very approachable sci-fi's, but the last, the last fantasy series I read was just okay, and I don't really want to recommend it. <laughs> It was easy to read, but I don't really want to recommend it. And the other fantasies I've read recently are like... I read like Game of Thrones, which I don't remember. I feel like it was pretty easy. I feel like it was pretty easy, but it's like a huge undertaking because there's like six or seven different POVs in at any given time which is kind of a lot so i actually don't have a good approachable fantasy to give you at the moment but if you also like sci-fi hey excuse me why i can't go through here huh what's that about it says it's on this level hello Like I went through this door before, some kind of confusion. Are you familiar with the Earthsea trilogy? I have heard of it, but I haven't read it. I'm still gagging at him. Aren't you a man? <laughs> I was like, I mean, that's not to say you can't complain about men. As a man. 
That was pretty funny. <laughs> Are there more enemies? Because I seem to not be able to get to this one. Maybe I could walk on the walls or something. I don't know. Um, but I did read. I would recommend the scythe books if you're into fan if you're into sci-fi at all. This is a safe zone. You're a safe zone. What? Oh. Oh goodness gracious. Oh goodness gracious. Where the freak is the elevator? <laughs> Where's the elevator? <sighs> this looks like it's in the wall, does it not? Does it not look like that? I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, the Scythe series is really approachable and and fun. And it's like it's a it's a good story. Okay, can't go that way. Maybe I can Ah, you. You there. You know what I just found out recently is that this is a very popular author. Um, and unfortunately, the cover- I never even considered reading it because the cover- I vowed to never read books that have like that um, trace- muted colors trace art style of like people but there's a book called the love hypothesis that i didn't realize was a ray like started as a raylo fan fiction and got published into a book but it's it's not it's like a raylo au <laughs> but someone showed the cover wait someone showed the cover and said look at it real closely And it all came together. Because... Who is that? And who's that? That's literally them. <laughs> but yeah, this like... This one isn't so bad, but there's some other ones that are worse. But it's like this brand of, of like art... Of, of like love books, the romance books. So I'm like, ah, oh, I can't do it. Who's Raylo? Oh man. <sighs> Raylo. Raylo is the ship name for Kylo Ren and um Ray from Star Wars. And it is <sighs> honestly devastating because it's one of the one of the it was real. It was real in the end, you know? Spoilers, but it was real. But it we barely got anything. It was all just like anticipation, and then it was Jover. That's all I'll say for now, but... Ah, uh, elevator. Oh! Oh, what do you have? Oh, right, the elevator. I'm so stupid. Cannot take the lift in current state. What? 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 I must be stupid because... I must be stupid. Aren't they blood related? Who? No, they're not. No, they're not. They're not. Unfortunately... Unfortunately... Don't get me started, okay? Don't do not get me started about the sequel uh, about the sequel trilogy. 
don't get me started because I have not learned. I have not yet, hello, emotionally removed myself from the anger. Oh. I don't need that. That I feel over the travesty that that, that, that set of movies are. I haven't gotten over it. Hey, that's not funny. That is not funny. Oh, that's funny. Anyways. <sighs> They're not, but Palpatine implied that it, it they have to kind of because Anakin's immaculate conception in the comics, so canonically Palpatine is sort of Anakin's father, so it's kind of sort of incest. Oh, the Seagulls are so stupid. They're so stupid. There were in there were moments, you know, there were good moments in all of them. But as a whole, they're so stupid. Which, what a shame. Because it's a great character setup. A strange son of Leia and... Oh, yeah. This is driving me crazy. How the heck do I get to this? Oh. <sighs> a strange son of Leia... And, uh, what the free is his name, Harrison Ford? Trained under Luke Skywalker. And was seduced to the dark side. What an interesting premise. Just all to be thrown away in the end. Yes, I feel great anger over it, so I kind of can't talk about it. What the heck do you want from me? What on earth do you want from me? Oh, you're kidding. Oh! Oh no, I don't know about this. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Wait, this one's kind of hard. Han Solo, seduced to the dark side by a mysterious third party. Wow, I might be stupid actually. It's not that hard of a solution. All to be thrown away! Oh. Useless thing lying around like a dying dog all week and pathetic and serves punishment. You wasted your precious time and kindness. You could kick it. Look at... What's that? Aha, seems like you must quell your rage for a moment. Look, as your last kick landed, something came flying out of the clock's face. A tape. Why the freak did I kick him? That's not nice. I would never do that. Ow. <sighs> Welcome to Square, 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 Square. A strange recording that cuts... Okay, I can't read all this. I wasn't... I'm not in the mental... This isn't where I'm at. <laughs> is in my current, in this evening, okay? This isn't where I'm meant to be. Read the highlighted parts. Open your mind, release your pressure, and shed some of your blood. Swing freely on the strings, pop up and down with the brass pips in it, and feel the, woo, the keyboard. And drums being hit. You, sudden, uh, you see a sudden flash of color for your eyes, as if being shown a glimpse of something, yet you see nothing. A strange electric buzz reverberated through your mind, as if you hear something. 
but you cannot make it out. One thing is certain, a single motion, you are even more enraged. You feel a presence that you cannot sense lurking around you, greedy, thick, and ready to strike. You lower your head to look at the tape in your hands. The unsuspecting little object is emitting some kind of irresistible attraction, trying to pull you deeper into the mire. What will you do? I will, as the note suggests... I don't, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. What should I do, guys? It feels like Aha messing with you. Well, it says the highlighted parts said, open up your mind, release your pressure and shed some of your blood. And the red text was swing freely on the strings, pop up and down with the brass piston and feel the rhythm of the keyboard and drums being hit. Yoink it? Yeah. That seems, I'm not leaving it, that's for sure. Are you sure you want to do this? Are you certain, really certain? Haven't the lessons learned along the way taught you to proceed with caution? All right, fine. No one can quell the curiosity of a trailblazer. Much like no one can stop a raccoon from making a trash can in their personal playground. Well then stay tuned, see what strange surprises will bring your way. Oh no! Bizarre tape. Cool. Cool, cool. Ah. Fentanyl lobotomy. I don't want to fight you. I want to fight the chill, the other ones. I'm going around in circles. <laughs> ah. Can I just buy it? Can I buy the thing that I need? We're going in circles. Is there any other way to find this stuff? This. Oh, do they like roam the streets? You can give it to the buff guy in the lobby. In the lobby. Oh, really? Should I, though? Should I, though? Should I give it to the buff guy in the lobby? That's this, right? Wherever there is business, there is Sampo. I would give it to the buff guy in the lobby. Um, sorry, Dennis. You don't fit the description I was given. Buff guy. Buff guy. Pfft. Oh, in the dreamscape. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, maybe material exchange. Suddenly, I'm realizing I don't know where the lobby is. Is near the red birds that you were in earlier. Oh, in here. Okay. I would assume it's over here then. Buff guy in the lobby? If you're in trouble, call the bloodhounds on the double always be your service. About the bizarre tape. As I expected, another victim. Hand it to me quickly. This is not something you can handle alone. So what's going on? It's a long story. Simply put, there has been a large number of assault cases targeting the sweet dream trouble lately. Now, not only do their outer cases tend to suffer heavy damage, even their consciousness has shown severe signs of condemn signs of severe contamination. The culprit in every case is left behind a tape. That's right, just like the one in your hands. These tapes seem to be 
the origins of the contamination. Living organisms that come into contact with them become extremely irritable and easily aggravated, experiencing an inexplicable sense of fear, sometimes to the point of having terrifying hallucinations. If exposure persists, their minds may com completely collapse over time. One of these tapes was concealed so carefully that it took us many days to locate. When we received word and went on investigate to investigate the scene, even the dreamscape landed land around the area had begun to noticeably warp. I can't divulge too much information to you. However, you should know that the family will be working their utmost to ensure the safety of every guest here. Thankfully, this was discovered quickly. May not cause any serious damage. Please entrust it to me now. What if I did it? What if I don't entrust it to him? Because I don't know if I trust the family. <laughs> My family. What if I just... Ah, oh, dang it. I thought it would be a secret dialogue option. Like, maybe he want to fight me or something. You've worked hard, too. Don't worry, we'll resolve this matter too soon. Here, take this to ease your nerves. Oh. It was all worth it. I got a sticker. And an achievement. Yeah. Worth it. Value. I already have a ton of stickers for this place, but I suppose I could fit one more. Right here. Every day Lodge doesn't rerun is a is a day for me to make bank. Okay, what's with the birds actually? Lady Vermilion? Oh, it's a story. It's not like a redeem for rewards type of things. All the pings. What pings? These? <laughs> yeah, okay. I suppose there are a lot. Everybody texting me. Everybody trying to text me. Everybody trying to talk to me. TBC. I like this map a lot. Really helps me quantify how many things I haven't done. Helps me see it all plainly. <clears throat> hey, I did pretty good. I did pretty good. Only one that I haven't done. In, uh... In Bellabog. So... Urillo. Definitely, um, got a little... <laughs> Might have fallen off a little bit in schedule. I do need to do that quest. See, this is what HSR... This is what Genshin needs to do. These story quests, they need to stay in the game. Like they do in, like, the legacy events. Maybe if the story wasn't so weak, whoa, 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 I didn't agree to this. Whoa. <laughs> I need to turn on hardware accelerator. Okay, all right, my PC is about to explode. My PC will explode. Please stop. There, I cleared as many pings as I could. Ow! Oh, you can't hear that. Holy, why is that so loud? Oh, I don't know where that's coming from. My ears! It's like making a ding! Be blessed, it's not coming through to my stream. There, I cleared out as many pings as I could. Let's close a few tabs, queen. That's true. That's true. Yeah, let's do that, actually. You, you, you make a valid point. 
Oh, fine. Oh, I only need to find one more bird and I get something. All right, anyways. Shut up. Let's farm. Let's make ourselves useful. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, I have a lot of these. I just don't have these. But at the same time, I have more than enough. Oh, I see you use... Ah. All right, Let's whatever. Push the further, Let's push the envelope further. Let's, let's. La -da -da. Yeah, I'll synthesize next time. <sighs> if you're using Chrome, you can group your tabs. Uh, I don't use Chrome around here. I, I use Opera GX. And you should use Opera GX too, because I can, I can look at this. Yeah, that's Omori typing sounds. Omri typing sounds. But there are so many. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Which I actually thought... <laughs> Listen, okay? I know. No, don't hit that one. I know. I know I can't type. I know. You don't have to rub it in my face. <laughs> I never pass my typing classes. Okay, good work, team. Let's try a little harder this time. Amri, I have been kind of wanting to play Omori more. I have wanted to play it again. I'm in the middle of a playthrough on my, uh, Switch, actually. I just haven't touched it in probably over a year. <laughs> I still don't get... I still don't use the finger on one row thing. Finger on one row? Huh? What do you mean? Have you done the Hikikomori route? No, I haven't, and I I like the idea of it. I, I really am interested in it, but I just... Ah, uh, I don't know if I will be happy for having done it. Like, the, the, this, the true ending of Omori is already so hard to stomach. And it's like such a beautiful, wonderful, but gut-wrenching experience that I just don't know if I can go through the, all that work just to end in, like, such tragedy. <laughs> like, I don't know if that would be good for my heart. You know? So I almost, maybe I should watch a Hikikomori route. Or just, like, quit before I finish it. Because I do want to see more of the Red Space stuff. And I know you get a lot more Headspace content with Hikikomori. As in keeping your four fingers on each hand. Keeping your four fingers on each hand on both sides of the middle row. Oh, oh, on the keyboard. Yeah, you know, I kind of do that, but... <laughs> I just do it as my heart leaves, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get to keep my four my four fingers no way. what's your words per minute <laughs> I don't know I don't want to do a typing test 
What if I did a typing test on stream? Should I do a typing test right now? No, it won't be accurate because I'll be too nervous. <laughs> but I could use that as my excuse for why I suck. It's because I'm just nervous. Mm -hmm. Words per minute. Isn't it words per minute? <laughs> That's a typing test. Uh, okay, I'll do it. I'll do a typing test. Let me just finish this one. <sighs> you open a can of words, Miss Dish will never let this go. Good one. Don't say that about yourself. I... <laughs> There are a few things that just never click for me as a as a as a elementary student. And one of those was my times tables. My times tables were no bueno. Um very bad, very bad. Ugh, can you just die already? Could not commit my times tables to memory ever. The second thing <laughs> was proper typing technique, okay? Proper typing technique. Was 8 plus 7? 8 times 7? I don't know! I don't know. Ow. <coughs> I don't know. Okay. <sighs> I need calming music or I'm gonna freak out. Typing test. I need like a longer one. <sighs> Suddenly I'm so nervous. So I have to pee. I have to use the bathroom. Typing test. Free typing test. Learn your words per minute. Okay, yeah. Let's do... Let's do a... Uh, let's do a three-minute test. Because one minute, I'm just going to panic the whole time and it will be skew my results. Okay. Type racer. Monkey type is cute and relaxing for testing. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Is this actually like a typing test? Is aesthetic too? Okay, okay. I got this. <clears throat> I got this. Sentences. 
Dish, I hope you've had a lovely day and that your showers are always the perfect temperature and your pillow always has a cold side. Heart. <sighs> okay, I have no clue if that's uh, <laughs> if my words per minute is under a hundred, is my chair gonna collapse in on itself? <laughs> uh, Cause this is E sixty three. Yeah, yeah, that checks out. That checks out. Do type racer and race against chat. Can you do that? Maybe I should go again. This song puts me in a good mental place. So maybe I should do it again. It really messes me up that there's no... That there's no... That there's no freaking... There's, there, it's like incoherent English. Med medical? <laughs> Contractions? Oh no. No. <gasps> no, like tell me a story. Tell me I want to read a story. Oh, here we go. Quote. Thick. Okay, here we go. I there there have been I've definitely cried at these quotes in the past. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna lock in. I'm gonna lock in. What the? What? Oh! See, why are they sad? cry <laughs> okay if my tears screw up the test that's not my fault Exactly the same. Silent Hill too. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay. 
Um, huh. I want to go again. Wait, what if I do this? Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to play games. Maybe I just want to type forever. Okay, I'm throwing. Maybe a new song would be good. I don't... That one sucked. That one kind of sucked. Put gas for maximum stress typing. Gas? Where's that? I, to give you an example how strict some jobs can be, when I used to work at a different bank than I worked at now, the requirement was 120 20 because of how much typing I did on a daily basis. My word per minute was 144. That's crazy. This is much easier because it's all lowercase and there's no punctuation. I mean, this is showing me how much I mess up. I actually mess up so much. How do you even... Uh. How do you type that fast? Hey, 75. It went up by two. <laughs> you meant the song? Interesting. Should I just... Maybe I should practice this more. And get become a better typer. Oh, five seconds. Okay, this will be my last one.
Maybe I should just leave the mistakes. Let me stop with the numbers. up my flow. Feels like my brain is trying to mush. Not this song. I haven't heard this in forever. Tell me what this is from. out gold forbid <laughs> the numbers really it has become more clear to me than ever that I don't know in my brain without looking at it where the numbers are on my keyboard 73 my typing speed is 73 without numbers with numbers 65 the beginning of Deltarune I no, unless it does play at the beginning of Deltarune, but this is, um, this is from Undertale. Originally from Undertale, I guess. Anyways. <laughs> Are you satisfied? 
Yeah, the punctuation, bruh. You'd think, right? You'd think I'd have better typing speeds with my job being what it is. <sighs> but I don't. Congrats, guys. You, you probably have better typing speed than your streamer. Yeah, the punctuation key, the punctuation was a bit much. Obviously, this is from Euphoria. Double chat. Oh, that is true. Goodbye. Uh, have you guys... Is Euphoria worth watching? I have 50 and I'm a developer, so you're good. <laughs> I did find that relaxing, though. No. No, it's not. No. I like the first season, then after that. The first season was good, and that's it. Oh, wow. That's a resounding no. Oh, you're bored. Yeah, I remember hearing such good things about it way back. I remember hearing it was great. And what happened? <laughs> um, two, season two ruined it. Again? Uh, fine, again. It's about teenagers and opioids. Who would have guessed? You chose the wrong enemy. Interesting. So it's like a it's like a net negative on society. Is that accurate? Nobody can convince me that the director isn't isn't a little weird. Interesting. That's how I feel about um, 13 Reasons Why. If I could e erase one show from the earth, it would be 13 Reasons Why. Follow my charm. Here, I'll see you off. On the list of shows that did not need to get made, that was that was one. That would that's really high up there. No Good night, kitchen. Wait, why? Oh, because the way that it painted suicide as a viable option for vengeance, especially looking at the the season two implications, it 13 reasons why it inspired so many copycats. So many copycats. And I, I was not to say that suicide is not a topic that can and uh, uh, should be addressed in, in movies and TV. My... <laughs> but it's about it's very much about how it's handled and 13 Reasons Why truly could not have handled it in a worse way. Especially the unedited version that initially aired. Let's push the envelope further, shall we? Ugh. <sighs> Season two scene traumatized me. Yeah. I mean, season one, it, <laughs> I'm sure it exists somewhere out there, but Netflix edited out probably the most, the scene that really should not have ever been in there. Uh, it was. That, that TV show should have never been made. And if it was made, it should have been made in a very different light. Da, da, da. Yes, in season two, there's, um, it's just very graphic. I don't really want to go into details because like I said, the last thing I want to do is give that show more coverage, <laughs> except to say that you, you will not be positively impacted by watching it. So you shouldn't watch it if I could advise you in that way. <clears throat> the whole thing was unnecessary. 
Dish has been streaming since last month. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I haven't, I've been, we've been hanging out since last month. They ignored professional recommendations, but wanted to preach mental health. I'm grateful that I was a little bit older when I watched it so that I had a little bit of like, like, uh, when did it come out? Twenty seventeen. See, so yeah, I was in college. I was an adult when I watched it, but I can't imagine having been like a teenager watching it. What a, what a nightmare. Okay, what's this? Because I don't have that. I don't have that. Young Impressionable Mind. I'm talking about a show called 13 Reasons Why that I was saying, I wish it didn't exist. <laughs> All I do when I stream HSR is auto stuff. Young and traumatized, yeah. It's just it's just like a very unhelpful presentation or representation of um, uh, suicide and the repercussions of suicide, and that is the reason that it inspired so many copycats, which is so tragic, so tragic. HS charge just ch people chatting with more steps yeah <laughs> especially with me because I'm trying to catch up oh euphoria has the same thing okay yeah then I won't watch it I'll pass <clears throat> instead I'll watch I watch Zendaya in dune dune 2 <laughs> Yeah, I watched it when it first aired as well, unfortunately. But the, the season one, the worst part of season one is burned into my brain. All of it's burned into my brain. And Florence Pugh. I didn't watch Dune 1, is it good? Well, Dune is fantastic. Um, it's one of the most like iconic sci-fi stories uh, ever. <laughs> I tried to read it when I was younger and I I got like 50 pages in and I was like I still don't know what's going on so I didn't continue uh, but Dune 1 is Dune Part 1 apparently Dune 2 is incredible or Dune Part 2 is incredible and I will tell you after I have seen it but Dune <laughs> Dune Part 1 is interesting because it's like it's like it's like barely a movie it's like really well done setup if that makes sense <laughs> really well done setup that is necessary for Dune, for Dune Part 2 but it Listen, they just, they couldn't make a, a six hour movie, so they made two three hour movies, basically. We love 30, 21 Pods for writing an antithesis to 13 Reasons Why. True, that's so true. Which song is that? Neon Gravestones? That actually is the antithesis. Amen. If you never, if you never recovered, from the traumatizing experience of watching 13 Reasons Why, you should listen to a song called Neon Gravestones by 21 Pilots. Because Hi, it's MS the exact Dish. opposite. Just watched your recent video on gaming in London, right? Indish salute, Indish love. It was very insightful. I didn't realize how polarizing the opinions on it were. Yeah, I didn't know either. I've been reading the comments. Thank you, Percy, for the, for the four months. I didn't know either. Um, 
and it, it's been very interesting reading the comments and hearing even even like deeper topics being brought up about the lantern right quest and like how <laughs> stuff that i do not feel qualified to talk about which is <clears throat> someone was saying you know hyper individualism is also not good um that does characterize some culture so i was like man i mean you right you right but I'm a, just a lowly streamer. I'm not a socio, sociological, I'm not educated in such things. The engraved sums is super based. Super based. I cannot tell you anything that happened in Dune 1. I rely on my partner who, is, who actually reads the books to explain things. Speaking of books, I'm so glad you brought that up. So unfortunately, I started Way of Kings, and I say unfortunately because I had, I need to probably put it on hold for now because my idea for March, sociologist, soci, what would be the word for someone who's who studies like sociology? Yeah, study of human society. Sociologist. Is that a real word? It is. Okay, thank God. I'm not a... I'm not a stupid. Um, so my idea for March is to read every book my dad has ever given me, which makes up... is It's just under 3,000 pages. Um, and I think it's winnable, but I have to commit to it. And there's some like there's some tough books in there so I have to I have to devote all of my attention to it but yeah if you want to I'll post updates and stuff on my on my uh, miss dish account on TikTok. If you want to follow it you're majoring in sociology it's pretty cool that's very cool I would love to hear your opinion honestly about the lantern right quest if you know about it I don't remember the first Dune movie other than Oscar, and Oscar Isaac and there was a guy who floated up really high and had an ink bath. Yeah, you know, those are some of the more visually memorable parts of, of Dune. <laughs> Book Rex, Wolkage. Yeah, I have a stack right there. I'm probably gonna film, a, film my, my introductory video. It's midnight. Maybe I'll film it tonight. I'm gonna hold my stack of books and be like, in the month of March, I'm challenging myself to read every book my dad has ever given me. Oh yeah, and there's a big worm, and there's also that weird spider creature that we saw for like four seconds. <laughs> Which they didn't explain anything about. Uh, and then there was the the zendaya was like barely in that movie she was like a she was like a whisper in that movie until the end there's whispers of zendaya ghost the ghost of zendaya was in that movie but she'll be more prominent in the second one do you reread your books um i haven't reread the only book i've ever reread was little women i think But I am going to be rereading some books this month, actually. Because my dad... I keep getting standard wishes. I'm just... Be, I just be getting standard wishes. So one of the books that my dad passed down to me, essentially, is um, from this old uh, fantasy series called the Xanth Novels. And I've read... I think I've read four of them. And I have... I have seven of them to read next month. <laughs> so if I, I'm assuming if I read them when I was a kid, surely I'll be able to, Surely they won't be too hard to read again. Oh, 
Have you read City of Bones? I haven't. Please don't burn yourself out. Yeah, I was worried about it initially, but I read 3,000 pages in February. And February literally has less days than March. So I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Oh, shoot. Folks, we've hit a quest lock. <sighs> we have hit a quest lock. I repeat, we've hit a quest lock. <laughs> ah, <laughs> dang it. I mean, I really need to do this because I have not touched the second war at all. Cute. Quest time. Slow, show Chad the pic I just sent you. Well, if you insist. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. He said, uh, she's giving him a massage. Oh, it's still too bright. The glare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm massaging him right there. That's so cute. No, I'm not doing any quests tonight. I mean, I guess this wouldn't be the worst time to use this. Just kidding. That doesn't work on this. That run May quest is like an hour. Oh, well, that's good. The thing is, guys, I really need to fix my sleep schedule because lately I've been waking up at... I've been waking up at noon and going to bed at like 3, 3.45. And that's just... Oh, Chad, that's just not working for me. So I need to fix it. I need to figure it out. And I need to get over there because that ping is driving me insane. Or I just erase the ping. And all of it goes away. That's not good. It's not good. <sighs> Half of my problems would be solved if I had a cat, but instead I have a bird who hates me. Honestly, just pray that you get a cat. Pray for a cat because I did that. And then literally the next day there we found Ahsoka outside of our apartment. <laughs> will you stream the Genshin live stream? I will, but not when it goes live. I will stream it the next day during the day. Cat distribution system is very real. Okay, I have tested it. I am a believer. Literally just just believe. <laughs> believe, hope and pray and see what happens. Say your prayers before bed. And just watch. Literally, it's never happened before. No, like, we had Asher for... We had Asher for, I think, more than a year. And never have we encountered a stray cat or a stray kitten that, like, was in need of, of help. Or that we even could help. Literally. The night before, I was like, God, <laughs> you know, it would be cool if we found, like, we are trying, we don't need to adopt another cat. But if one was to show itself, you know, I wouldn't be opposed. And then, and then, and then there she was. There she was. Sokawoka, little Sokawoka on the verge of death. Dehydrated, dehydrated, starving, with fleas, ticks, worms, ulcers, and an upper respiratory infection, and one other disease that she's she's healed of now. And now she's in our life forever. Uh, what do you recommend for people who've never had pets to learn beforehand? Because I get scared they would claw my eyes out. Well, it varies. Uh, it definitely varies creature to creature. But one thing I would say is that cats 
in my experience, and in and I've heard this said by people who have owned cats. Um, I, <laughs> I, I chatted with a lady who just like rescued five cats off the streets in like Thailand and. <laughs> Oh. What is the common consensus is that most cats are wonderful, sweet, have sweet personalities, and only really act out when they are scared or threatened or don't feel safe or that their boundaries are going to be respected. So if you like if you adopt a cat and you make that cat feel loved and safe and that you are like they're not like dogs, they don't love um unconditionally at first they're not excited about new people uh, because they're prey animals as opposed to purely predator animals they're predator and prey so they're cautious so if you build a relationship with a cat and you don't force yourself on it you're you like basically wait for it to come to you while making it like rewarding the cat for taking trust in you that cat will love you. I, I really like 100% believe that. <clears throat> we get scratches from our cats sometimes, but generally, never have we had our cats lash out at us, unless it, except at the very beginning when they were scared and didn't, didn't know if they could fully trust us. Even Murdoch, who is, who is never properly socialized, and has very serious anxiety issues. Um, he has never. He has never. Intentionally hurt us. So. Especially with prey animals. That's like something to keep in mind. Is that they need to feel safe. They need to feel that they don't. Have to put up their guard around you. Which. You know you can help. You can help feel, make a cat feel safe by not approaching them too quickly, not picking them up unexpectedly until you have an established relationship with them already. Asher will, <laughs> Asher will let us do whatever. Oh, cute. Oh, cute pick. Don't mind if I just get in the way. Oh boy. But cats are predators. Predators and prey. Predators and prey. Farm XP books first. No. I will farm nothing. I will farm nothing. Dang, I barely got to use Borkle. We'll use her for one fight at least. For the cats. It's good to hear uh, I'm want a cat, but I'm scared I would upset them. No, it's really just in that's oh, that's. Mm. We've adopted every single one of our cats, and Ahsoka obviously like she didn't learn much, aside from what she she like she didn't have any. I doubt she remembers much from her four weeks before we got her, but like, even with our cats having, we don't necessarily know their backgrounds, they're all sweet. If Predator Y cat, Y cute and fluffy, am I correct in saying that? Cat, are cats prey animals or predators? Cats that roam around outside are at risk of becoming prey of wild predators, being attacked by domestic dogs, getting into fights with other cats, or getting hit by a car. <laughs> ah, I see. They're they're prey to uh, the modern world. <laughs> the second part of the outdoor predator is cats themselves are prey. They will be killed by coyotes, eagles, owls, raccoons, and dogs, and otters. Sorry? They will be killed by coyotes. Yeah, eagles, sure. Owls, raccoons, dogs, yeah. And otters. <laughs> Two cats were killed by an otter when a cat got too close to their nest. 
cars and humans would also fall into the predator category. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so sad. But yeah, so... I mean, dogs technically can also be attacked by coyotes, but generally dogs don't carry themselves like prey animals. They carry themselves like predators. Um, speaking of which, one time our... I had a, a puppy when I was a kid, a Scottish Terrier pup puppy, and it almost, almost got yoinked by um, a hawk. It was, it was watching the little tiny black Scottish Terrier puppy. It was just watching from the fence. And it was, I mean, I'm glad we went out there when we did, because she, we looked out and she was just like frozen, just like frozen staring up at it but yeah she was so small she could have just gotten scooped up but yeah anyway point is cats are predators to small creatures but they have a lot to be afraid of too so if they feel safe and protected that you they have the opposite reaction to you which is like you are you are bigger and stronger and you take care of me and i don't have to worry about anything Platypuses can also kill dogs and cats largely because of their venom. That's crazy. My area doesn't have any predators but bears. I have bears. I'm not huge on... I'm not... I'm not 100% sure what kind of predators we have around here. You know, we have mountain lions. All over Southern California, there's like mountain lions. And you know, we also have wild turkeys. That are like very aggressive. <laughs> very aggressive. <laughs> Wish I could go down this way. I thought cats thought of themselves as our owners instead of the other way around. I think there's conflicting theories on that. I'm not 100% sure. point is it's nice to make a, 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 an animal feel safe and if you make an anif animal feel safe they have no reason not to be their b the best versions of themselves around you she's so tiny she looks little okay even if she dies we have to see her in action somewhere agree agree even if she goes bye bye I believe turkeys could run the world if they wanted to. <laughs> You're probably right. Okay, that was a waste, but whatever. Okay. I'm sure she's so... Not prepared, but... It's fine, right? Just don't hit Sparkle, please. She has weirdly a lot of HP for having her relics be basically useless. I just want to at least see her old, you know? So you want to use the ult, the skill every turn. Yeah. I see the double, the extra skill points. Wow. She's a mercy. So cool. Yeah, you you finish that thing. That's what I call a good day. There she is. HSR's favorite favorite girl. That's a really cool introductory attack though. fluid I don't think I could take this one honestly I did not clear this last time I'm pretty sure you need DOT does she give two extra skill points yeah she does ow 
Oh heavens. Oh, this is a bad idea. She's she's dead meat. She's dead meat. <laughs> oh, I should have used Jing Yuan instead. I mean I should have used um I'm so stupid. Okay, when she dies. Her speed is so bad. I should have used um Dan Hang Il. I'm not doing a lick of damage <laughs> to this guy. Imbibitor. Who gives extra sparkle? Sporkle. I'll see you off. Oh! Oh no! In the last stream, I mentioned the World Quest Envision arose forthcoming on HSR, and you seem interested in doing it. If you are planning to, will you do it on stream? It okay. captures the essence of mental health issues and hmm. it's not too long, I believe. Curious to hear her thoughts on it. Definitely, definitely. I will, if I do it, whenever I do it, it will be on stream. Spill, <laughs> skill point positive, probably it's crazy. <laughs> Look! I'm actually mad I don't have done hung on this team. <laughs> That's crazy. Seven skill points. Seven skill points. Not that it matters, because everyone's about to die, but... Un... Un... I, does anyone need any skill points? Because I have... Some extras. <laughs> I have a couple extras, that's if anyone needs him. <sighs> He's gonna blow! Oh! Good night, Lotra. Oh, heavens. It's fine, it's fine. All good. No, to worry. Might as well spam skill point on Ting Yun. Oh, that's true. She's the last one standing. Now, how do you figure that? <laughs> Look, my crit damage boost. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> Let me just give her random artifacts. I mean, relics. And see what happens. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm sure someone will use this piece. Oh. Someone will use it someday. Somewhere in the distant future, so I'll just level it up. HP? At this point, I'll take it. Somewhere, somebody out there will use this artifact, this relic. No, no. Speed. Speed, speed. You know you wanna. Press F to pay respect. Heck. Mm. Turn in. Oh. Oh, 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 I see. Um. <laughs> That's interesting. So, chat, do you remember when I said that <laughs> my camera was higher FPS today and it's usually lower because it helps my camera not die so quickly? Well, so, here we are. And I'm just gonna, okay, great. Hey, it's me down here. <laughs> Camera dead, charging. Great, okay, we're set up. What a relief, the camera's off me. Okay, 
Um, who's got the most speed? It's okay. I'm going to end anyway soon. I just need a. just want to do the test. Let's see if I can clear this with my scuffed build. And then skedaddle out of here. Natasha. I'll take that. Oh, goodness. Imaginary boost. Great. I'm gonna borrow this. And I will I will borrow uh nope. Uh <laughs> I will borrow this as well, even though it's useless. Wait, that's actually useless. I don't have anything with speed. Heavens. All right, whatever. It's better than zero. Great. Let's try that again. It boosts your imagination. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, guys. It's lit. It's going to be epic. And I'm going to clear it, and it's not going to be a problem. Because we now have skill point positive Bronya. Oh, his dragon strike doesn't work if you switch away. I forgot. Don't hit her. No. Whatever will I do with all these skill points? Epic gameplay. Incoming. Unless everybody dies. Oh, oh. Help. Not feeling super skill point positive at the moment. But it's okay. Oh, I should use her skill first. I'm so sleepy. Not epic gaming. Decent gaming, though. I'm a little. I'm a bit rusty. He's gonna blow! Oh, great. Yep. Great. Okay, so. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Coolest. Watch this. So, anyways, like I was saying, Biley would have saved that. I believe that. First try, first try. Skill point positive, skill point positive. Don't target her, please. Locha ain't good in this fight. Do you have a shielder instead? No. See, that's part of the problem. Part of the problem. My problem. See you off. <laughs> it's that I don't have enough diversity of character built. Please, no, anybody but him. I do have Gephard. Gephard? Okay, I need to heal my low truck. Let's play for a while. Heaven Surge. Wow, good for damage boost though. Ah! Chose the wrong enemy. Oh, this is not good. Oh no, we're okay. Oh no. Ah! Um. 
going really well. I'm feeling very skill point positive right now. First ult. No, no! Oh, actually, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Welcome, customers. Very skill point positive right now. Help, help, help. <laughs> More skill points than characters alive. <laughs> Breaking news. Your sparkle team is probably better than your swimmers. Your sparkle, you are a better gamer than your swimmer. Health isn't looking super positive at the moment. Yeah. Okay, okay sparkle versus the world. Sparkle loses. Anyways, so there's my very epic Sparkle Gaming. As a very serious, very meta, very smart HSR player. You are welcome, worlds. <laughs> for that display. You're welcome. And uh, surely I'll have something even better for you next time. When she's, uh, when she's properly built. Yeah. Showcase. Mm. I will do her justice, I promise. Oh yeah, I probably will make this into a YouTube video, or something. This, this has been one of the showcases of all time. I only really decided I was gonna pull for her like five days ago. <laughs> Sparkle, more like Badkel? Wow, that's so funny, Zedge. You are a genius. HSR player doesn't actually play HSR, but does, but doesn't really. But she does, but does she really? Because she does, but what was that? You have one of the sparkles I've ever seen. Yeah, at least I have sparkle. Don't worry, guys. I will do her justice. I will do some off-screen mining and get her very epic. I'm very excited for her story, though. She doesn't have a story quest, right? Is she going to have a story quest? She does with Black Swan. Oh. Oh, it's together. Yeah, I'm gonna do some off-screen mining. Maybe I'll add it as an addendum to this. Maybe YouTube will see this before you guys do even. Who knows? Okay, chat. I've become hungry for the second dinner. Which is probably gonna be some toast with olive oil, oregano, Toscano cheese, and salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go and probably start my very epic March reading challenge. Her phone case is really cute. <laughs> it's got a little bell on it. Yum, it is yum. It is yum. Okay, chat. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, fine. It was nice to see you. Very nice to see you. You better get back, back to reading streams. Oh, I will have to. I will have to because the amount of pages, difficult pages that I have to read in the next month, I will literally not be able to stream enough to cover it all. So, or rather, I won't be able to, I won't have enough time to stream <laughs> games that I will have to devote it to reading. Okay, Opera GX. Thank you. Thank you. Which one should I start with? Maybe I should start with an easy one. Xanth novel. Okay, chatters. Thank you. Sorry my camera died. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to figure out what the heck's going on with my camera. And uh I'll see you tomorrow during the day. Probably, hopefully, around 1 o'clock 
to watch the Genshin Impact special program. Or if you're staying up to watch it, have fun. Have a good time. I hope it is worth it. Be well. And it's okay to be a little crazy. That's what Sparkle says. Maisie, thank you for the tier one sub. Uh, May, thank you for the three months. Celeste, thank you again for the 10. Svader for the 25 months. Sorry, I missed that. Gotcha Spender for the five months. Kyungi for the two years resub. John for the prime sub. Eden for the 17 months. Viper for the 100 bits. Panu for the three months. And Nina, thank you again for the 100. Bye-bye.